and welcome to Matt and Dirk's Quiz Lab. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, I'm, I'm kind of alone today. I, there's something missing. I don't know what it is. I just can't figure it out. So anyways, welcome to Matt and Dirk's Quiz Lab. Uh, this week, given that I am uh, sort of alone, uh, alone, I thought that I would bring in, um, I'll bring in a friend. So I'm going to phone a friend this week and bring in Jason. Welcome. Hey, Matt. What's up? I feel uh, like so, Fox, I'm stuck in the Phantom Zone, like I'm Zod or something. So yeah. just, uh, I'll so be here like this. This week, we're doing the Give Us Your Worst Quiz. And so we kind of had people submit quizzes that either they didn't do well or that were just bad. I, I really have no idea what we're about to see here. But yeah, uh, I... Don't know what we're getting into. But so, my hope is fun. that we play some quizzes and we maybe give some constructive criticism if indeed it needs that, or just yep. relish in the badness, right? There's lots of bad movies that are just fun to watch. And maybe That's these true. quizzes are the same thing. So I don't we know. We shall see. I, but, like I said, I haven't really played, I've played some of these, but I haven't played anything that was submitted this week. So but we got a lot, Ooh, so we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna try to just see what we can do to get through as many as possible and just, sure. just power through. So we might even quit some, if they're really not right. I don't know. We might try to even end quizzes early just so we can keep moving so we can get to some other quizzes. I want to try to play as many as we can. So um, yeah. What's anyhow. Name? All right. Uh, I just, you know, I want to start at the top. We'll probably hit the random at some point, but um, mm -hmm. by Jack Aronson, can you answer the questions about tennis and draw a tennis court? Uh, well, it's green. It's got that going for it. That's a Wimbledon. good start. <laughs> and let's go. Okay, the court type. Okay, so... Grass. Oh, wait, this is... So for the U.S. Open... About tennis. Okay, so the court type... Oh, it's the, the U.S. US Open, Open type. Is, hard? Is, uh, yeah, hard court, I guess. Ooh. Oh, we're out. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, next yeah, venue... Uh, that's Arthur Ashe. That's... What's that? Arthur Ashe Stadium. Uh... Is it? I thought Should it was be. like that other word. I mean, it's the uh, stadium, but isn't the whole thing like? Oh, the, the whole word. venue? Yeah. Uh, it's not the medicine. I had a name, but I'm forgetting what it is right now. It might just be the U.S. Tennis Center, but I I was literally there like three weeks ago for okay. not tennis, but yeah, no. Oh, uh, well, let's see. Let's go for it. Next. No. <laughs> not okay. our. Uh, Wimbledon is Wimbledon grass. Is uh, mm, try Djokovic. Uh, oh gosh, like I'm gonna spell that. <laughs> DJ. Oh, Djokovic. Okay. Oh, I think it's O V I C. Djokovic. Okay, we're just gonna skip that. The Wimbledon. That is the. Um, oh God. Uh, All England Tennis Club. Yeah. Like right. All England's Tennis Club. It might just be singular. Nope. Oh, okay. That's... England's. Okay. How about just for fun? No. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Gonna try, try that one, everyone. French. Okay. That's clay. Clay. Uh, Nadal. Hey, we got one. Hey, we got one. And this... Okay. So the roll on Garros is where the final is played, but I don't know if that's the name of the. Uh, yeah. One L. Oh, well, we'll see. Do we get one? No. Nope. Okay. Uh, nope. I <laughs> wasn't. Okay. That's, and that's, uh, Australia is also hard. This is just hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Um, Djokovic. Nope. Okay. Uh, I couldn't even the, tell you where the name of the arena. Yeah. Now. <laughs> uh, well. Oh, oh well. I guess you didn't win any of them. Okay, Djokovic. Joke, I feel no. like the U.S. Open winners this year were both um, unranked. So, oh right, there was those two like eighteen-year-old like girls going yeah, so together. I, I so. Tell you. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna you stop that. Um, no, it's a cool no, the thing. Billion, okay, USTA. Mm -hmm. It is all England. England lawn tennis and croquet club. So I might have had to put more words in there. So and I think Roland Garros is accepted, but is the answer, but it's Stad Roland Garros. So 
my feedback, <laughs> I'm going to start right here, is we got to be a little bit more accepting with the alts for the four places where uh, the, the opens are held. Like, we knew all England, but... Yeah, and there's Roland England. Garros, it was Stadion yeah, Roland Garros. Exactly. So, so we knew some things. I think also, well, okay, Jokovic was the name there. I think there's also, the problem is, is that, like, the last winner is going to change all the time, and so... Yep. I feel like it could have been slightly more, except we knew some stuff about tennis and we still did pretty poorly here. So I feel like maybe yeah. just a tad more friendliness, maybe like the all-time winners or name any winner even, just to get you yeah, some Yeah, or help. name so, any year in the last decade, something like that. I agree. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, that was Jack, Jack Aronson. Jack Aronson. I, don't I always say Jack Aronson, but is that how you do it? Jack I, I always Aronson. Say Aronson. Okay. No. I always say Jack Aronson 23. But either way, I... Jack, it's an interesting quiz. Yes. Don't get us wrong. Uh, okay. Can you pick countries with multi-word capitals and avoid the decoys by Mr. Piano Man? Okay, this is a minefield. Multi-word capital. Oh, gosh. A minefield, a minute and a half, 26 answers. Oh, um, my God. Okay, right. so we have to pick the countries with multi-word capitals, so like Guatemala City kind of thing. And this is, yeah, is going to show me... Countries? 200. Is, is there going to be 200 buttons here when I hit play? I, and if so, gonna, I bet you it is. Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay. Not All right. All right. Part of the okay, so Guatemala, yep. uh, Papua New Guinea, uh, Andorra. Country, where's. Uh, Andorra's underneath. There, there you go. Yep. Uh, Ethiopia. Yep. Cambodia. Cambodia. Uh, Malaysia. Uh, which, Kuala Lumpur is the yeah, capital. Yep. Yep. Uh, oh, Kuwait India. City. Where do you see India? Okay, India, not Reykjavik. No. Uh, Palestine is Ramallah, although yeah, right. I have a feeling that might be a problem coming up. Actually, uh, well, possibly Mexico City. Uh, Antigua and Barbuda, their capital is, I think, St. John's. All right. They're all at St. Something in there. Trinidad yeah. and Tobago is also... is Port St. of Spain. So that's three words. So, yeah. Yep. And then is Haiti in here, too? Because that's Port of Spain. Uh, oh, Haiti is hyphenated, though. So I don't know if uh, you can... Okay. Well, it's not here. Uh, the U.S. Uh, is a possibility. We sometimes list it as Washington, D.C., but I'm not saying click that yet. Yeah, Quebec is not a thing. So it's kind of a random assortment Argi of yeah, kind of countries and not either, countries yeah, here. In that case. Argentina. Uh, Panama City, Argentina. Uh, Vatican, Vatican City. Vatican City would count, right? Uh, St. Kitts and Nevis does not. Sao Tome and Principe does, though. That's their capital of Sao Tome. Okay, yep. Uh, Brunei. It was not Vaduz, no. Uh, where's oh, bikini bottom? Yeah, see, oh, we're out of we're we're done. Yeah, we're out of time. Okay, so it's not enough time for sure. So it's it's a it's it's actually what's interesting is it's an interesting piece of trivia knowledge. But yes. you've got a random assortment of sometimes countries, not countries. You've got even like fake countries. You've got mm -hmm. sometimes a city. So like, I think it's not enough time. Rand a little too random in what I'm looking for. Yes. It 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 was on the way to something good, but I think it's not yeah. I just I think the decoys aren't. Right. Yeah, and this could use I think this could use a little love on the decoys. And I just looked at the quiz data to see if uh Palestine was an answer. It is not. The United States is though, and I'm sure that's one of the reasons for the rating is because some people don't think of the United States as having a multi-word capital. It's Washington. It's Washington D.C. It it's is kind of a gray area. Tricky, which is why, if you know, which since it's not showing you all two hundred countries and you mm -hmm. just pick it, you could selectively not have it's, some it's countries in here that are mm -hmm. on the fence, and then you know. So interesting trivia. Definitely needs more time though. Something's not, it definitely needs more time. So yeah, it was, uh, we ran out with two of us and who knows some stuff, we still ran out of time, so. Yep. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna, we're probably gonna get to more, but we're just gonna go random here. So oh, somebody in comments also said putting the answers in alphabetical order, and I completely agree with that. That, that would was probably also help, yeah. Dietrich Zamba, uh, uh, John Cena fan 612 on the site, I believe. Thank you for that suggestion. Okay, get the picture of snakes snail or puppy dog tail? Can you tell whether each thing is a snake, a snail, or a well-known puppy dog tail by Magnavox? Um, I right. just noticed the spelling of tail. That's an interesting choice. Oh. 
Oh, okay. All right. So Lassie tail. Come Home. Oh, is Lassie Come Home. Okay. That's cute. All right. What? Oh. That's it. It's a puppy dog tail. I see. I'm clicking yes. this. Shiloh is also a puppy dog tail. Oh, it is? Okay. See, I didn't know that. Oh, the other. Yep. Mm -hmm. No, uh, yeah, I'm going to guess. Snake. I'm thinking snail, actually. Oh, snail. Yeah, okay. E I have no idea. No probably idea, no. probably snail? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Got to be a snake, right? <laughs> Come on. Sure. No, nope, snail. Okay, yep. yeah. What do I know? I think a Bushmaster is a snake. That's a snake. Ew. Tool comes a snail. How do you know about snails? I'm concerned I about you know. now. I I know that you know a lot of things, but your knowledge of snails is a little is scaring me. I have to admit, uh, they're all over my house. Uh, I don't know. I just thought uh, there was just like a snail. Like I didn't know they had different names. Like it was. You got the garden snail. Yeah. You got the poison snail. You got Gary the snail from SpongeBob. Gary the snail. Uh, Australian trumpet. I believe. Is that a snail? I think so. Hey, it is. Hey. Uh, no idea. That sounds like a, that sounds like a dog story. It does kind of sound like a dog story, doesn't it? A boom slang is a snake, I believe. Oh, it's a snake. Okay, sorry, I miss you know Mexican racer. Come on, that's a snail. Come on, Come sure, on, right? Yeah. Oh. no, I thought it was like ironic. Um, I, you know, this quiz isn't bad. I, I, I guess they suggested this because it was underplayed, but. I mean, it's got a five rating. I, yeah, it's there's nothing particularly wrong with it other than apparently my knowledge of snails, snakes, and dog tails is not yeah. uh, what it could be. I, it's so. a little bit of a niche topic. So, I mean, <laughs> I, I, and ultimately, there's nothing wrong with a niche topic. But you're going to get, like, you're not going to get as many plays when it's, you know, name the snails. Like, name the snails. <laughs> like, All right. Nothing wrong with it, though. Uh... Can you pretend to be Mr. Bean at the Olympics by playing along with him to the Chariots of Fire theme song? Uh, yeah. So what? I am not gonna play this one because I yeah, like to clips. play video stuff on the on yeah. the stream. It's the YouTubeception. It just gets it. It breaks the internet. I mean, it's yes, just what's and the compression. But, yeah. And I don't remember the Chariots of Fire. Is that have words in it? No, it does not. Uh, I see. Charn C, I'll tell you what. As soon as this is over, I will play this and I will message you feedback. Let's hit the D button, just like he is doing the synthesizer. I see. Oh. So, like, it's just, it's kind of like a fun. Yeah, this is, I think, right? funny. I guess. D, no? Maybe not. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, not sure what's going on there, but um, yeah. it looks like it's somewhat of a humorous quiz, would be my guess. So, Charnsey, I, like I said, Charnsey, <laughs> I will give that a play as soon as we're done. Uh, okay, can you name the countries that immediately follow each of these seven continents alphabetically by diffusion? Oh okay. I got a vision of this already. Okay. The countries that immediately follow each of the seven continents alphabetically. So, so like if we were naming the. Okay. So, so if we're in Europe, we have to go like. Finland, or get, what follows? Uh, yeah, I get. Well, I guess Fiji comes before Finland alphabetically. Hey, okay, oh, that. But Fiji's a different. Oh, it's not. Oh, I see. So it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so it's every. Uh, let's uh, pretend that the continents are countries. Okay. And sort of, that's. I see. I was thinking it was actually a multiple country levels. in the continent itself, but it's actually yeah. just any country at all. That's an interesting idea too, actually. I kind of so, like that. South not, America. Not that I don't like this. Yeah. That's an interesting idea. This is kind of, so okay. South America goes S and then O. So we uh, got to think there's got to be a Somalia? South. No. Oh, wait, after you. So, so it's going to be South Korea, I think. Yes, there you go. And okay, then, so Oceania is, there, is O. So the next North O country. Macedonia? No? Probably North Korea. Oh, also North Korea. Yeah, right. Um, okay. okay. Oceania would be O, so Oman. Yep. And then, and then we're looking for three that start with A. Oh, God. All Africa, right. Um, uh, let's see. Is there any AF countries? There's Afghanistan, but that's before. So yep. uh, try Algeria. No. No. AF, oh, Albania. I think. Oh, look at that. Hey, well done. And then Asia would be. Uh, <laughs> 
let's see. Try um, Australia. Oh, look at that. And then we have Antarctica. You pay me for. <laughs> You're doing well at this. This is what you pay me for. Uh, uh, yeah. Antarctica. Uh, ooh. Uh, Boom. Antigua and Barbuda. Yep. Hey, yeah. okay. I was looking away. Yep. Uh, I mean, nothing wrong I like with that this quiz. One. Yeah, that's yeah, cool. It's quiz. An interesting idea. It took a second. Yep. Like, I completely understand why you went with uh, Finland first. Yes. Um, what's this? What's the rating on that? Four point seven yeah. three. I, uh, this isn't a bad quiz at all, yeah. honestly. Like, good quiz. Check. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, who made this? Diffusion. <laughs> who that was? Yeah. Good job, uh, Diffusion. That was a good right. quiz. Can you name the inventions, ideas that Leonardo da Vinci came up with based on his notebook sketches? This is another five. We're having a lot of uh, five quizzes here. I'm I think. Curious. Yeah, I feel like a couple of people were were being <laughs> a little cheeky here. Please I mean, my quiz? maybe five is your lowest rated. In which case, that's uh, true. Well on you. In, in I mean, honestly, not, the first time. The first time it's not my lowest rating. (laughs) Yeah, and mine either. The first time you did this, though, I think I may have done this exact thing. So I can't like necessarily like hate on people for like, oh, uh, here's my quiz that nobody played, and you know whatever I submitted, I think got published like a week later. So (laughs) it does work. Okay. Uh, So inventions, ideas that ooh, see, this is a little rough. This one's a little hard. Okay. what the don't no okay, I'm gonna skip because uh, so this is the it's a parish shoot okay um fencing like. yeah, um, Jesus like. no um, uh, body armor <laughs> body <laughs> armor yeah there you go uh, really let's skip the that one the UFO no um you like it. it does look like a UFO space needle top. Nope. Mm. Spoiler alert. Leonardo mm. da Vinci found in Seattle. I mean, you know. Okay. Uh, 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 airplane? No. Um, canoe? Yeah, it, that looks like a canoe. It looks like, <laughs> yeah, or the, uh, what's the, what's the, um, the thing that oh, Luke, um, Luke flies uh, in? Hang, uh, hang glider? Maybe? No. Nope. I was thinking the, uh, what's, I can't remember the, you know, the rebellion. They have their... Oh, an X-Wing. X-Wing, yeah, X-Wing. There you go. Did you do an X-Wing? Try Um, it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. And, okay, Uh, helicopter. Helicopter, yep. Okay, we got one. No, two of them. Right there with you. Uh, I didn't know any better. I would think that's like a record player. (laughs) Record player. Or a gramophone. Or a... Large clock. Like wheels, uh, yeah, it could be a clock. <laughs> so, uh, that appears to be a bridge. Oh, an aqueduct. No, okay. Maybe a bridge. Maybe okay, I'm gonna um, and then this is definitely a rake. No, yeah. um, <laughs> it's a pooper scooper. No, uh, okay. So I'm giving up because I think I know what my problem Wait, is what? here. I'm sorry, is I'm just seeing gun. This is really cool, but I, what this needs and can totally fix this quiz in my yep. mind is I know just what you're gonna say. some hints. Just at yep. the bottom, you give a little hint, you give a little like, just nudge me in the right direction because these are pretty yep. obscure drawings. A canal bridge, right? I got a bridge, but I so we were halfway there. Self-propelled cart again. I don't even know what that means exactly. I mean, the an automobile. automobile. So, like, uh, whatever oh, that up. is. Those are like toy little, like, fake birds. Oh, that's a tank. Again, it could have been. I can so, see that. a diving suit. So, like, a thing. Yep. And an anemometer. Interesting. So, okay. yeah, I think just just a little bit of little bit of help. Just give me a nudge in the direction of some of these things. Because um, I completely agree. But cool. More cool to see that, like, What's neat is that it's a neat idea, and it tells me all these things that Da Vinci like drew, and so that part's cool. But I just, as a player, yes, uh, there's a lot of um, fail, and yeah. or, a slightly less fail for me would, would be would be enjoyable. If so. hints are too hard, the other option is to turn on wrong answers and make it like a multiple choice quiz. Like, is this a an anemometer? B a yeah, maybe. Yeah, that could you could do that too. That's so another really, like if you want to keep it as a slideshow, I think there's yes. just give me some. Give me some help. You, you, can could, keep that, you can keep that as a slideshow. And but, you could do, yeah, you could either do multiple choice at the bottom or just give me some, yeah. mm-hmm. some help. So, all right. One or the other. 
Oh, God. <laughs> we got some Polish for Herms and English translations. Okay, these can be interesting. We'll now, see. Okay, now I see. Yeah, yeah, I see why this one is not... Okay, it's got a good rating, but... All right. Oh, okay. my goodness. Kalawak. Do you know any Polish? No, but you got to use... This is this is the, like, you use context clues and you get a shot, right? Like, <laughs> do you have any context clues? I mean, I know some German, but, but I think Polish it's, might be different enough. So do I. Yeah, uh, Polish is... Pol Slavic, so I the question say. is, how would you even say these? Like that would be cool for this quiz. Just uh, one update uh, yeah. is that if they could put in the uh, the what's the thing where you tell me how to say IPA. it? IPA. What's that? IPA. Uh, sure. Not the beer. Not the beer. The uh, international phonetic alphabet. Peak. My wife Peak. is a musician. So. Peace. Vidzik. To vidzik. Oh. Ruksek. No. Uh, that is, I guarantee you that is not how that's pronounced. <laughs> wow. Yeah, well, let's see. I don't have the thing to help me. Um, okay, this may be beyond. Okay, I'm going to go with bake. This is beyond me. Yeah, I don't know. Mm, no. Uh, Lepic. Yeah, I think this is generally neat, but I think, unfortunately, these are so different that... Mm -hmm. um, I don't think we're going to be able to find a way in, right? This is where, where now, to be fair, if I was learning Polish, this is probably great, right? Yes. Like if I know anything about Polish, if I played a quiz that was like Spanish or German that I have like some knowledge of, I could get some of them and it'd be there. But given that I have nothing, so it's fine. This is for if this is for a quiz just for somebody who's just trying to learn Polish. Then this is there's nothing nothing wrong with this at all. But if mm -hmm. it's trying to be somebody who doesn't know anything, yeah. then uh, I continue to not know anything. <laughs> yeah, it's very, it's niche. That's the best way of putting it. And there's nothing wrong with niche. It's no, just there is people aren't going to play it unless they're looking uh, for it. I, yeah, okay, I'm done. Uh, yeah, no. But good for what it is. If you wanted it to be more accessible, you'd have to give, again, some help. Uh, and some it'd be use. cool to potentially learn some Polish along there, but mm -hmm. the pronunciation would help and some kind of anything, I guess. But as a quiz for somebody learning Polish, spot on, 100%. Yeah, the go I think the go-to would be like Polish words you know and maybe starting with that. But I'm sure that's been done too. Oh, placement puzzles. I'm a fan of these, but these I, are very challenging. Okay, I don't know what a placement puzzle is yet. So Karen Carpenter, fill all the X's. Fill all the X's. Like four. <laughs> okay. Fill all in all the blue squares with X's or hyphens such that the numbers in the green square denote how many X's are in its row. Okay, green square, X's row. Those or squares, columns. Oh, a row and column. Okay, those yes. squares without an X are marked with a hyphen. No guessing is required. For single cells, B equals 11. Yes, for when it goes over uh, 10, yeah. Oh, I see. So. Because there's, because it's it's the so this is four x's in both this and this way. Yes. So the four was the four would be there's some combination in the row and the column that adds up to four x's. I am concerned that this will take us all ten minutes, and it we will absolutely fail. will. So <laughs> it absolutely um, will. This is a great. Either, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back and play this myself uh, when I have more time. But this looks. Karen Carpenter's made about. I want to say at least 50 of these. Maybe okay, even, well, that's good. Yeah. I know about placement puzzles. I'm not sure I've ever seen it before. So Yeah, they're, um, they're a little challenging, uh, especially the ones that have like four different colors that you have to keep track of. There's green, red, yellow, and purple, I want to oh say. Oh, my gosh. So just as a, to help us out briefly for somebody who's never played this before, how, I would not how have do I started... even find... What's my first <laughs> way in, even? Like a two here. Is this so every, I mean, in this row and this row, there's two X's? No, so here's here's how I would start. And, and for everybody watching this who's tried to play one of these, this is how you start. So the B and the two are our starting points. The B being 11 lets us know, if you count, there are 12 total squares that the B is with. So that means that all but one of them is an X. One, and, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, the X, I see it's X already here. Oh yeah, so, so of, one, the, of the remaining 11, 10 of them are X's, but because there's the two, one of those, one of the the, the squares that, that borders both the B and the two is the dash. So every other square we know would be, would be an X. And that's how you would get started. Right, oops. 
Well, that could be the one. We, we don't know. Right, yeah. So you do something like this. Yep, exactly. And then, and then go, for the two, okay. I would do the exact opposite. I would put dashes everywhere. Well, not every. Well, no, actually, I wouldn't put. You don't know where any X's are here. Yeah. Sure. Well, we know that you're, one of the X's is either where your mouse is or where the other one is. But yeah, we don't know where the Couldn't other. Could they both be X's though, technically? Because no, really, because then you would have twelve X's instead of eleven. Oh, okay, so but there could be one X in one. Of yes, spots. there's definitely one. It's just yeah. the question is which one. Right. And then the three comes factoring into it. Yeah, that, that's how you get started, though. And the four is there. So, yeah, this is, um, this is right. This three, right. There's a lot the to this. So There's a lot going on. There's probably the next thing. I mean, it's like a, it's Sudoku ish, but like a totally different idea. So, anyhow, very cool. Uh, I'm going to go try to figure that one out later. So, yeah, that's, that's, if you like puzzles, these are great. But if you're not like into like, like logic puzzles, they're not for you. Okay. By Caltech. Being movie characters hard work. Can you name the movie characters that are taking a break and their movies they've picked as their vacation destination from the postcards they've sent home? Okay, okay. Wait, so this is just like Superman? okay, Superman. Oh, so, uh, I, oh wait. So are we picking? Okay. Can you name the movie characters that are taking a break and the movies they've picked as their vacation destination? For I see. So we have to pick two things: so Superman and Harry Superman, Potter. Superman, Harry Potter. Okay. Okay, that's this is interesting. It's interesting. Uh, I like so this. this is I'll Lord be back. Of the Rings, or I guess hopefully, do I need to? Yeah, I think that'll take it. Maybe, and then Terminator. Oh, is it Terminator? Yeah, I'll be back okay. at work. Yep. All right, well, that's good. It's very helpful. So let's see. So it's, that's The Shining and Snow White. Uh, Snow White, right? Snow White, Shining. No. Oh God, you're gonna make me tight. Okay, so Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> no, okay. Huh. Uh, well, that's definitely The Shining. It's not Sleeping Beauty. Wait, Snow White's Snow White's the Dwarfs. Yeah. Yeah. Shining Snow White. Uh. Okay. Is it, is it one of those quizzes that requires and and the maybe? No, because the last ones didn't. The first oh, two were very. Helpful in their taking. Is this Napoleon Dynamite? No. Is it? What is? I oh, and X, that's that, X Men. Yeah, and Inglorious Bastards, possibly. No, that's not right. I don't know what that is. Uh, oh, the chat's telling us we have to name the character, not the. Oh. Thank you, chat. Oh, the so, character. Yeah, okay, so, so this is shining. Sleepy Shining. I see. Okay. That was not That's... necessarily clear from the instructions. So which is this is part of the problem with the rating Professor here. Sir X and that must be the part of the cottage. Uh, I'm like the wind. No. Uh... Cottage in France makes me think it's. I I feel like it's Inglorious Bastards. Okay. I just got to spell that right. Yeah. Or wrong. Inglorious uh, <laughs> Bastards. Uh, put a U between the O and the R. Hey, look at that. Hey, that worked. Okay. Okay, so ain't uh, no party. Okay, so, so that's four. four. And that looks like Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. It is Back to the Future. Okay, yep. Oof. Okay, Kill Bill was... Um, uh, her name was, is... What was her Beatrix? name? Beatrix? What's that? Beatrix? Oh my gosh. Yep, that works. Uh, and what is the other movie? Austrian Alps. Uh, it's Sound of uh, Music. I guess. That famous badminton scene. What's the badminton do? I guess that's just there for fun. We're just vacationing, obviously. That's a little strange, what I admit. What the admit. heck is this? Okay, so that's... Ven okay, her name is Vanellope, I want to say. Ven from wreck and Ralph. Wait, v Vanellope or P? V A N, like van, E L L. Oh my gosh. O P E. Okay, this is. And I'm the movie no, is. No hope. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Apparently, yes. I wasn't sure I would get that. So this is this is Sparta, which is. No, it's, uh, it's no. the guy from Gladiator. Oh, it's oh, Gladiator? Is, the is it? Yeah, what's his name? That's Russell Crowe. Is it no, Commodus is Joaquin uh, uh, Phoenix. Joaquin. Uh, oh, God. Uh, Maximus? Maximus? Maximus, yes. And... Uh, I have 
absolutely no idea what that other movie is. My name is. It's oh, is it really? Oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> that it is. Okay, so Doctor Brown, Brown uh, and Fast and the Furious. Yeah, it's Fast and Furious. Yeah. Oh wait, it's, Doc, Doc, Brown. it's Doc Brown. I bet. Yeah. Okay. 18 year old have a photo taking himself, a photo of himself, a bungee jumping. Okay, so that's so, Carl from uh, Up. Is it K or C? I think it's C. And that's uh, the bridge on the River Kwai. Bridge on the River Kwai. No, on. Uh, of. What's that? On the River Kwai. Bridge. Oh, of. whoops. Sorry. No, no. Yep. I think oh. I, I can analyze Mr. what's X. going on here. I think his name is J, just the letter J. And it's, uh, what is it, Life of Pi? Life of Pi, right. Yeah, it's just J, though. Not even Mr. J. Okay, Agent J. Agent J. That's okay, Die Hard is... Uh, um, uh, Gruber? Gruber, Hans, Hans Gruber, Hans. right. Yes. Hans Gruber, and... That's got to be Avatar. Is it Avatar? Yeah. Okay. Oh, gosh. What's uh, Gizmo? Giz is it Gizmo? Is that what it was? Yeah. I think that's Gizmo. And Frank is the bad one. Is it Planet of the Apes? Yeah, that's yeah. Planet of the Apes. Okay. You blew it up. Uh, Sauron. Uh, it's got to be... That's got to be Star Wars, right? Episode 3? Sure. Uh, so I will say this is cool. I think it could be shorter, honestly. Yeah. Because like, I'm kind of, it's, it's just a lot to go. And here we are, 15 in. I'm gonna, we're, I think we're going to, at this point, we might as well just finish it. But I think yeah. it could stand to be a hair, like 12 would have been good, maybe. Um, you know, I'd also say asking for the character names is probably not the right call here. Um, I get why we're asking for the character names, but like. Yeah, it's difficult. Um, the guy's not wearing any gloves with temperatures. That's Chronicles of Narnia. Oh, gosh, really? Yeah, that's uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Oh, okay, there you go. Oh. <laughs> that made me laugh, this image. Uh, oh, so it's uh, Frozen, but it's... Um, uh, which James Bond movie is this? Is, uh, <laughs> is this Dr. No? Yeah. But who's the... Like, oh, it's oh, Olaf yeah. is that the one? No, Olaf. Yes. Olaf is the character. Oh, it's the other way around. And that's the other issue here is that it's yeah, like, yeah, okay, because you yeah. could have had the Bond girl and then it'd be frozen, honestly. Like, yeah, okay, yeah, I would so, say definitely for sure it, it should accept the two movies and not the character and the movie because that takes you it to the point. next level. Uh, yeah. so oh, what was his name? The um, I like the crossover though. This is great. Um, yeah, I think it's just Rex. Is it just it's Rex? It be Rex in Jurassic Park. There you go. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> and then this is Forest. I have to admit the images are great. I, that's I love the images uh, here. No, not sorry, not. Uh, Wizard of Oz. Wizard yeah, of, yeah, Wizard I know. Of. I got my fantastical places um, mixed up. I do it there all you the time. Go. Well, we did it, and it's cool pictures. Great. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, great. definitely neat. I think. We we succeeded with all of the names, although there was a few that I didn't know the name of. Uh, so, yeah. um, but definitely definitely a neat idea, and I think that mostly uh, mostly top notch. A couple of tweaks, and um, that's that's yeah. a that's a good quiz. Accepting both movies, I think, is really where where to go with that, I and mean, it would be fives. Oh, oh god! No. Oh lord! Okay, <laughs> Oregon is amazing. Correct image for each Mario Kart. Okay, and go. Oh no. Okay. Oh, it's it, not even. In, I would. would be okay. Cool if these first. were in in chronological order. Yes, one hundred percent. Shot, because now I'm like, okay, which was the first one? Because I can. Okay, go the first and, one is Super Mario Kart, and Super Mario Kart is row one. This one. This column it? three. It's the top. The top of that column. You think? Oh, this one is older yes. looking. One hundred percent. Okay, but then what came next? Mario. Um, the next one is Mario Kart sixty four. That's this one down here, then, right? No, that's Mario Kart Super Circuit. Okay. Oh, which is the See, third you one. already know too much. <laughs> um, I have no idea which of these is Mario Kart 64, though. I can't tell at my 
Re oh, uh, it's the uh, first column, middle. You think this one? Yes. I'm trying to look at the age age based. Oh, DS. So that's uh, going to be uh, uh, even worse graphics, right? I like that. I like the logic of that. Yeah. Uh, I can not. It could, could be. be. It could also be top left. Oh, oh top, top right. right. Upper right. Wow. Okay. Mario Kart Live is the right underneath where your mouse is. Here? Yes. Okay. Arcade GP VR. Oh, my goodness. How about. I have a feeling it's that one. Yeah. Mario Kart Wii. Okay. This could be. No oh, wait. Wii is more. Eh. Okay. Which one? You thought this one was Super Circuit? Yes. Mario Kart Tour. What's Tour most... is an iPhone app. Current one is, I think, this Eight Deluxe. One. Uh, oh, that one? oh my gosh, it's a bad image then. Okay. Mark Chat is saying top left is we. Okay. GPDX7. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going to just make some guesses here at this point. Yeah, I would sure. just guess at this point. Uh, nope. And nope. That's double dash, uh, actually. This one? Oh, that was yeah, double that dash. Was, yeah, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, I know. chronological order, for sure. Yes. And... And you know, if you're a Mario Kart, Kart fanatic, this is actually probably great. But I think to help even that person out, putting them in chronological order, even with the yes. years, would be cool. So that yes, you agree. could be like, "Hey, that was that year, and that's fun to go through the time of there." And I think I'm not usually one for, you know, I sometimes I think people make images that are too big. But I would actually argue that these could be a hair bigger, given there's only twelve of them. You could make them all just a little bit bigger. You could do like a three by four instead. And then yeah, everything's just I a totally. hair bigger. You can see it. So a three by four in order, throw the years in, check. Yeah, okay. I, I agree. I agree completely. I I am we normally discourage scrolling, but when you need a bigger image, you need a bigger image. Well, and this so. is this is still small enough that yeah, there's only yeah, twelve answers, exactly. right? Like because there's only twelve answers, you got a little more space. So. You can you can cram that onto a single screen without needing to scroll. Yeah, three by four. I completely agree. Uh, uh, oh boy, Mandarin. Oh gosh. So this is another language by Indy the best. Um, holy moly. Okay. Just, That's just, China. Is, what's that? That, that person. China? China. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, that's Italy. Italy. Okay. Ayodala, Australia. You know, and this is actually that's Ireland. Ireland. Uh, I'm not sure about that one. I, I, I feel like that's probably France, but I wasn't Canada, here. That's Canada. India, yes. France. Okay. So, all right. This is know. fine. Works for me. There's Ship plenty it. of time. Probably too much time, actually. Eh, sure. It is too much time, but it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Take I, it, so. so we're making it. This person's concern is that it doesn't have enough plays. It's probably because I just feel like translation quizzes, unless it's Spanish or French or maybe German, it's I'm not going to get that many plays. Uh, yeah, I mean, and also people see Mandarin and they get scared. <laughs> I, you know, this is okay. Clickable Mandarin, random countries, easy. I think the title is often overlooked. Is that is very explanatory of what it is, but maybe could handle some editing in a way that makes it sound more interesting. Agreed. So, that's all. The title, the title could use some work too. I agree completely. The people, you know, title is the way you, you you get into a quiz, and so that title uh, is not one that says "click me." So there you go. <laughs> uh, 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 what the heck? Typos of Tolkien. Oh, Hedgeman. Okay, what have you got for me? The mangled token quotes. Do you know any Tolkien? I'm not a big Tolkien guy. I mean, I have watched the movies. I have too, and I have a copy of the Lord of the Rings on my desk. Ugh. Holy moly! Okay, uh, I don't know if I'm going to play the whole thing here because it's long, but we That's will. A long one. Yeah. But this is probably, as always, you know, it's very uh, interesting. Cave troll. Cave troll. It's the first one, top left. Okay, a mistaken letter leads Bormy to explain upon finding that the orcs of Moria have baked goods. Oh, they have a cake troll. All right. I I don't understand that. Like, well, it, I, I did the mispick. I guess. You probably have to know the actual thing because now these yeah. are these are the token quotes have been mangled, but I don't even know the first one, so it's still kind yeah, that's of exactly the, like I don't know what that's a reference to. I, I, would, I get. That. I would probably drop this to it only ten answers because they're long, and I find that these quizzes are difficult because they're just so much words 
that a 10, 20 question quiz with lots of words here and lots of words here is just like, I get a little, I mean, I'll, I'll admit okay. it, I get a little tired of reading, you know? Same. Uh -huh. So let me, but, let me try this one. A misplaced rhyme results in Gandalf yelling this to Dur is Durin, okay. Peter, since I know you can hear me, is Durin's <laughs> name the Balrog? So is it you shall not gas? You shall not gas. Oh, yelling this to Durin Spain is that where he's like you shall not pass? Okay, there you go. Okay, all right, okay. This odd There's typo odd strangely modernizes the central object of the Lord of the Rings. So the ring. So it's a miss. It's a typo of ring in a way that. Um, oh, one bling to find them. One bling to rule them all, one bling to find them. There you go. Uh, this is not my quiz. <laughs> the wrong homophone leads Boromir to this odd proclamation about the Dark Lord's home and Chinese food. Okay. One does sim it's gotta food. be one does not simply walk into mar mortar or something like that. Yeah, one there it is. Sim does not simply walk into mortar. See, look at that. You not only got it, you got the actual quote itself. I know the meme. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the Big Bang Theory? Ugh. No, they wouldn't. Like nobody, no, nobody who wrote this would have watched that. That's just, those are not, they're not congruous. It didn't happen. Uh, okay. So, um, I have no idea. <laughs> well, it's uh, something uh, that Gollums would have said. My precious, or what's oh, Peter's? My own, oh, my love, my coitus's. I don't. I don't know enough of the Big Bang Theory to know, but that yeah, is something you know, that Gollum would have said. So, sure. uh, all right, we're gonna do one more, and then we're gonna move on. A consonant transposition causes Gandalf to give this cooking instruction at the. Oh, that's fry you fools! Oh, fry you fools! Fry so you fools. this is really, I mean, this is this is cool. I'd say a little shorter and oh, yeah, uh, but but um, but definitely uh, fun. It's, yeah, it's I think it's a fun idea. Uh, agreed, it should be shorter. Maybe split this into two quizzes, just because it's a lot to like think about. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot to think about. So, um, oh boy, golf. Okay, golfing with the terms that fall into each category. I'm curious. I'm, sure. I'm curious by this by four six eight one seven eight. Ah, uh, my favorite string of numbers. Yeah. Okay, types of score we're receiving golf. Okay, so you've got like an eagle. Uh, a bogey, a birdie, par, a birdie. I believe an albatross. Hole in one, right? I don't know if you can call that a score necessarily. What? Okay, well then we got a. Is there oh albatross? Al albatross. One? Yeah, that's like two under par, I think, or three. Um, uh, condor. Oh gosh, I didn't know about the condor. It might be a hole in one. one. I don't yeah, see any other. It's because it's what it is, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so you can make a chip shot. You can make a layup. You sure. Can make a drive. Yes. You can make a putt. I feel like a punch, probably. A p yeah. Uh, and a fairway I think, shot? I think fairway's uh, part of a golf course. I would yeah. say if Ruff is on there, I would skip that. Yeah, okay, let's see what. Okay, yeah, there we go. Terrain. Right. Okay, that's so fairway. Fairway. Rough. Rough, bunker, bunker. Green. water hazard. I would say so. I don't know that I call it terrain, but sure. And, uh, and green. a green. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Types of golf driver. club. Okay, so here's the driver, here's the putter, and here's the wedge. Irons. And irons. Okay, non-golf club playing necessities. Uh, where's the beer? Golf balls. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. T. Um, T. I guess caddy, technically, although I don't know that it's a necessity. Uh, yeah, caddy. we'll skip that. Yourself, people. <laughs> bad shots. Okay, so that's a shank and a and I guess a flop. Flop? No. no. Words you should scream for. Okay, so a flop must a be the shot. Must be yeah. And this must be the caddy. So apparently you make a fat but what you do is a there's a um do you go the left to the right? Why am I spacing on it's a shank and uh um, is it a hook? A hook, yeah. And even another shank's another word for that. It's like a slice, I guess, is another thing you could use. So I overall that was oh, a slice, thank you, Chief. Seven a slice. Seven. Yeah. That's so right. um Yeah, I don't know. I mean that's and how many times have you gone golfing? I've 
gone golfing a number of times. It hasn't, it, not for a while, but I, I golfed a lot when I was when I was a younger lass. Once, so. and I got uh, kicked off the court. Or the court, wow. I got kicked off the court. Yeah, that's not called a court. That's how bad it was. I got kicked off the right. court. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot to say on this other than I kind of enjoyed that quiz. So Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think the problem with the rating for this one is you have two categories about shots. So you have, like, bad shots and then just regular shots, and it doesn't clarify. Well, since there's... It says there's a slice. There's also a slice and a hook or other things you can do. So there's there could be a little cleanup on that. But other than that, like I like that it yeah, through I think all that's of the issue, types of types of things. So yeah, all right. Yeah, I would say I would say for the category of six, you just take uh, shots and make it like good shots or something like that. Just okay. So. Yeah. Otherwise, it's great though. Um, holy moly. This is Muccinale. probably not one that we're going to make by Muccinale, the 100 IMDb movies with the word big in the title. So these are can be fun. This is like the great kind of quiz that you get like 10 people in a room to try to name because yes. one person, like there's all sorts of cool quizzes that are like group plays, and mm -hmm. this would be one of them. So let's just do like a big, big trouble. Oh, oh. Oh, that's very kind gave of me the, uh, That's very nice of it. So Big sleep. Big sleep, the uh, big, big hurt. No, nope. uh, what was that last big one? Lebowski. Oh, I said big chill, but also the big Lebowski. All right. So um, this is I like to call these kinds of quizzes old school sporkle. Like, yeah, you know, and I we think... don't really do these anymore, publishing wise. But there's there's a certain charm to them. Yeah, and I think. You know, it's by it's rated okay, by MD yeah, votes, sure. but I almost feel like that's not necessary. I mean, it, it gives you some that these are the really popular ones, but I feel like you know. yeah. If we're gonna if we're gonna talk about how to clean this up, uh, besides the fact that it's just like an old school quiz, I would get rid of the. I, I agree. I get rid of the IMDb votes as a column, and I'd put either like actor and director, or two actors, or some sort of clue to help something on. yeah i don't know about actor i mean that might be too much information actor direct but so, something sure. there you could put instead of the votes uh would make this slightly more accessible but again these are fun group like if there is you know we could get a bunch of us so we could just play these. yes I mean, we I'm are gonna, all not screaming do it all, all now yeah. i'm gonna hit give up so we played it and i'm gonna quickly go to random so nobody looks at the answer so you can play yourself later okay oh <laughs> oh right because we already played it we didn't play it, so yeah. Great. Oh. No, oh, God. Oh, and we did play this one, except for we uh, that our randoms keeps finding the same thing. So, okay. Okay, there we go. All right. Click an E by, hmm, yes. Best director winners. Can you click the best director winners with the letter E within the time? So, 15 seconds to click. Now, is this starts with E, or just they have an E in their name? It just has an E in them, yeah. And this is a minefield, so if you click anybody who's wrong. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I got 15 seconds. Yeah, There's, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm for it. There's I'm no not even saying it. Just, I just click names with ease in them. That's all There's you got to do, man. No hope for me here. So, I mean, I maybe I don't even know. No, uh, it's just find the e quiz. I, yeah, it's just it's literally just find the things with e in them. Um. Yeah. Meh. Sorry. It's yeah. Just, this, the quizzes like this, it's <laughs> it's not really about knowledge it's about how fast can you click and identify the letter e and there's a place for that not necessarily on the front page well but it um, doesn't also need to be a direct like i feel like it's sort of as we've played some of those before that are like this like find the letters and they're fun but i feel like this is sort of a not necessary to be directors it could be fruits it could be it, it yeah no, I, uh, this person i think it's whom yes has made a, a bunch of these and yeah they're totally so it's just kind of like, like the crossover of knowledge isn't, and, and I don't even, because it's so fast, I don't even get a chance to like, you could say, oh, I get to learn about like directors mm -hmm. and, and, but I don't because I don't have enough time. So, um, what I would, uh, I would consider for this, and this would involve retooling this entire series. So keep that in mind. Whom Yes. Is I would make it so that every answer has an E, but not every answer is a director. And you have to actually like think before you click, possibly increasing the time. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like you said, it needs a full. 
I that would I, yeah, it would, it would be a full rewrite. I saw this next in the playlist. We're gonna play a couple more here, and then um, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna call it. But to quote Captain America, I can do this all day. In fact, I probably will. <laughs> so the cities that have a big four sports team with the same initials as the eleven U.S. presidents pictured. For example, the Green Bay White Sox, if they existed, yeah, would have the initials GW. Okay. I so don't Dr. understand. Steve makes a lot of quizzes like this, and every time I see them, I'm like, "This is an interesting idea," but who boy? <laughs> so, I guess I'm just not sure. One, this you should just don't do this. Yeah, just, I agree. Put like the extra text in here. Don't do it. Put it in there yeah, if extra you need text to. Is, yeah, that's where it goes. It's just, just I know you can do it, and we give you the two to do it, but don't. Just don't. Yeah, Sorry. we almost always delete it when it gets yeah. published. If okay. it gets published. Um, okay, I, so. So like this Let me see if I understand this. Obama directly. in Cleveland or no? Who is this guy? That's Chester. I mean, Arthur. This is the problem: is that like I am terrible at knowing the way presidents outside of like this century. Maybe there, like I just don't know enough of what some of the presidents actually looked like. So yeah, I'm that's, kind of that's out. definitely an issue. But Matt, I also don't even know what I'm doing. L Dandies click the president's minefield. I, it's most played quiz. <laughs> I don't. I still don't even, even if I knew, so th this... Okay, so uh, so here's what I'm thinking. Can you scroll up really quickly? Scroll yeah. back up. Initials. Okay, so that's Barack Obama, right? Okay. His initials are B-O. Okay, so, so Baltimore Orioles. Well, yeah, exactly. So you click Baltimore. Yep. I think that one. Yep. I see. And so, so Donald, Donald Trump, Trump would be... Detroit Tigers, Oh, I would the think. Tigers, okay. So they would be here. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, That's Harry Truman. Harry so Truman. H E. Oh, Houston Texans. Houston Texans. So Houston is this that one. That's Houston. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's a cool crossover of knowledge, definitely. Like it's. But you got to know your presence. There's three pieces of information that you yeah, have to know. Exactly. You have to know There's your, a lot you have to know your presence on. by picture. You have to know your cities by location, and you have to know your yep. sports teams. By yep. name, like, that's exactly right. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot cool, going on. But it's holy, a cool holy. idea. Yeah. Okay, so George Washington. You and I had the exact same thought. <laughs> Probably Golden State Warriors, and good luck figuring uh, out where they are. Uh, I guess they're technically in San Francisco. In Oakland, aren't they? They moved to San Francisco like a year ago. Uh really? Yes. So then, so, uh, uh, but which one is supposed they? to? That would be San Francisco, but then not this one. So I should do this one because they moved to San Francisco. Say, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, why? That's, yeah, uh, that, that's probably another reason for the rating. Actually, is I guarantee you, some unclean. people do not recognize. Okay. Uh, okay. So Calvin Coolidge is the guy with two teams. Where is he? He's so one, it's just, yeah. So Calvin Coolidge, CC. Oh, Chicago boy. Cubs. Oh yeah, of course, Chicago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I not no off the top Carolina, of my head. Carolina, no. Um, no, that's. Panthers, Hurricane, Charlotte Hornets. Oh my God! Columbus uh, Crew is that not the? Okay, no. There are no no MLS. Uh, oh, Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland Cavaliers. Okay. Bill uh, Clinton would be Boston Celtics. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Martin Martin Van Buren. Oh, really? Be, Which one's Martin Van Buren? Uh, so you just know what Martin Van Buren looks like. You're just yes, like, hey, I do. Man, what's uh, Martin Van Buren? I've made Got so it. many of these quizzes with presidential pictures that yes, yes, I do. So that's Woodrow Wilson. Oh, which would be Washington Wizards. Washington so. Wizards, which yeah, that's this one. That's right. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. So next to Woodrow Wilson is I believe that's Martin Van Buren. Uh, watch me be completely wrong so on that. Is that MV or M? Yeah, I guess it would be MV, but MV. So we got the oh Minnesota Vikings. Okay. Um, yep. All right. Okay. Above Trump is uh, Franklin Pierce. FP. I think Florida Panthers. Yeah, are, that's right. Yep. Are down here? Yes. I actually don't. They're close. Okay. Yes, that's, that they're, is, they're okay. Miami. Uh, so then, is this Tap? That's Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, no, Theodore so Roosevelt. T Sorry. TR. TR. Three of them, huh? TR. There's three TRs. Oh, Texas Rangers, which is Dallas. Dallas, which is up here. Yep. Uh, Tennessee, no. The Titans. Uh, 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 oh, Tampa, Tampa Rays. Yep. What's the other T? Oh, Toronto Raptors. 
Okay. That's Toronto, Toronto. is Lake Ontario, Toronto. Okay. Yes. And then the last one is C A Chester Arthur. That's Where the one next Chester to Chester Arthur. He's next to Obama. Yeah, that's oh, him. Okay. Uh C A. That California would be Angels. Or no, Anaheim they're, Angels, isn't it? They're Anaheim. They're Los Angeles now. Oh, and then Los Angeles. Um, uh, Colorado Avalanche, Denver. Okay. There you go. We did it. Yeah, so, that's it. Yeah, that's there's a lot going on there. And it's definitely, I guess the time is okay. I was going to say there's probably not enough time, but we did just fine in time wise. Yeah, I. There's I, a lot going on. I'm <laughs> definitely in a mixed thing. Like, I like this quiz, I like the trifecta of knowledge, and even clicking is fine. I think without you, I wouldn't have not known the presence, and that would have frustrated me. Like, knowing the presence by picture to me is almost a level too deep, but it's fine. I mean, it's okay, but it's just like, if I was playing this without you and I didn't know half the presence by picture, I would be frustrated that I knew the other yeah. two pieces of information, but I just, I, I had no way in because I don't study the way that our presidents look. So you know, that's all. The, the way to do this, I think, and Dr. Sivas, please don't take this as like completely re destroy your quiz. I would have done this as a clickable quiz with images so i would have had the president in like the top and then the 14 team logos as clickable options and then it's like so barack obama's picture comes up you click orioles uh chester arthur's picture comes up you click avalanche and admittedly that's still a little challenging but i think yeah. th there's a lot going on in this image yeah i'm trying to figure out another way to do the images or you could have like the presence by years or something too that's a maybe even just putting the years underneath their faces would at least give me another in. I'd give a shot. Another way into the presence. I felt like yeah. I know the, the way to do it. Yeah. I don't. I don't know the years uh, by heart, but I. I definitely have a better chance at getting some of these if the years were there, and that gives I me agree. that's yet another layer of trivia knowledge that I can bring to the table to complete this quiz. So yeah, that's a that's a very yeah without having to completely redo the quiz. Yeah, you could just put the years I in the image. Agree under each person thing so that there's the years that they were the president and that would help. Yeah, you'd have to move a couple of the images around, obviously, but I think that's a great idea. That would that would solve a couple of issues with this quiz without having to completely redo it. Yeah. It's a cool idea though. I really do like it. Yeah. Like, once once we got into it and once we figured out what the heck we were doing, it was great. So um all right, I think I think that's all I got. I yeah, we've been fair. doing this for an hour we and we played a hour. bunch of quizzes. Uh but interesting quizzes, not all the worst. Some Actually, good ones. Uh, I'm yeah. sure there are some other worse ones in here. We'll have to play some more. But, yeah, I will uh, definitely be playing every single thing on both playlists. I, you know, as yeah. Matt requested, I not play any of these because, spoiler alert, he can be on a curtain. I'm normally the person who puts these in order, everyone. So, um, which I we just, just, we just no longer care because we hit the random button. So, yeah, well, yes, yeah. that's also true <laughs> at this point. Um, uh, if you are watching this, though, and you want feedback on the quiz, I'm happy to do it. If you message me and just say, hey, Jason, can you tell me what you thought of this quiz? I will happily do that if, if you so desire. So you don't feel like we're ignoring you because <laughs> yeah, we're not. No, it's lots of cool, cool things. There's a lot so, going on. Uh, a lot of quizzes. All sorts of interesting. Oh, NFL team owners, Seattle Seahawks. Oh, oh God. I okay. Care that. <laughs> thank you again for joining yes, us. Thank you. thank you for the submissions. Uh, thank you for joining me, Jason. Thanks for filling in uh, as Derek. Uh, th thanks for bringing your hair. Uh, it's important that, that this week it was all the all hair team. Um, so, uh, uh, and next week we're going to do something on this show and it's going to be really cool. And it is. We'll let you know what it is uh, when, we when that happens. I mean, we know what it is. What are we talking about? Oh, we know what it is. I that was that was more. I was we'll teasing. Let you know until... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let, let you, you know, know yeah. on Monday from the Sporkle TV account. I wonder yes, exactly. That. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, as always, thanks for watching. See you next week on Matt and Derek Jason's Quiz Lab. <laughs>